Hey YouTube, it's Navy98 back again for another World War I restoration project. So this time I have a uh, really rough condition uh, World War I French Model 15 80 Rand helmet. So got this off of eBay for a really cheap price. Um, as you can see, it is severely rusted. It's missing the, uh, the cockade, the emblem on the front. Um, other than that, I mean, you can still see some of the, hori the original Horizon Blue French paint on the helmet. Um, there's no holes in the helmet. It's just really rusted out. It does not have the liner inside, but it does have the chin strap um, bales here. But as you can see, again, it's, it's really rusted out uh, on the inside. So my plan for this is I've got a reproduction emblem on the way, uh, artillery emblem cockade to, to put on the front. I've also got a reproduction uh, liner on the way. So my plan for this is to just skip the electrolysis and kind of go straight to the evaporus by soaking in evaporus overnight, see how it looks. I'm gonna try to remove um, the comb on the top to make sure all the rust is done, uh, gone underneath that. We'll see how it looks after that, but I will likely not fill in the pitting on the helmet, though I may change my mind on that. There's a couple dents on the helmet that I may or may not try to straighten out. And we're missing a rivet here. So we'll see what I end up doing about that. But what I'm thinking is do the rust removal, uh, sand it down, put a coat of primer on it, put the emblem on it, and then as best as I can, try to replicate the Horizon Blue paint. Uh, that was on here. Paint that on. I've got a couple of uh, different bottles of blue paint. I'm going to see if I can match up what's already on here. Uh, it's probably hard to see on camera, but there is some blue paint on there. Try to match that up as best I can. Uh, do a couple tests with the different types of blue that I have, and then get that painted up, put the liner in, and call it a day. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in the evaporust and this is the same uh, evaporust that I use for the German infantry shield in my other videos so again like I said in that video you can remove you can reuse the evaporust multiple times um, so it's the same evaporust it's already pretty black from that rust removal project if you haven't checked out those videos please go, go ahead and check them out uh, so we'll go ahead and leave this in overnight and we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Okay, so after about 24 hours in the evaporust, uh, this is what we wound up with. So pretty much all the rust uh, is gone. As you can see, a lot of the original blue paint has remained and this is why I don't uh, you know, go straight to a wire brush to begin with um, because now since this blue paint's still on here, I can try to match it with some of the, um, the paint that I have on hand when I go to restore it. So you will notice that there is there are some holes here where it rusted out uh, in the brim of the helmet. So I am going to have to go through and patch this up. Um, there's just it's just a little bit too far gone to call it a day, say it's good enough, uh, and not touch it. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the full restoration on this, um, strip it down to bare metal. Uh, I'm gonna leave the dents that are in here uh, there. I'm not gonna deal with that. I will pull the comb off and get some replacement rivets, uh, reproduction rivets for the comb. Bondo this, get it all smoothed out. I'll probably actually leave the, the main part of the helmet uh, how it is. I'm not going to bondo that, but I'll strip it down to bare metal and prime it. And then here's what the inside of the helmet looks like. Again, you can see the blue paint that's remaining. So again, it's, that's good in my opinion. I'll try to match it up as best I can uh, with the paint that I have based on some suggestions I found online. 
Um, and that'll be a lot better than the repro helmets you can buy, which in my opinion, the, they just don't get the paint color right. So in doing some research uh, on this helmet, I determined that it is, uh, it's definitely a, a Model 15 World War I helmet um, based on the design of the comb because uh, there were different uh, manufacturers of these helmets. Um, they manufactured the combs are slightly different in shape uh, as well as the rivets uh, on the side. Uh, it's hard to see here, but two rivets on either side of the helmet. right there. Uh, so based on that, I've determined this is a, a colonial company, Paris manufactured helmet. Um, one thing I did notice, I didn't notice this before, I actually started the de-rusting process, were these rivets uh, all around the helmet. Um, so if you go all the way around, these rivets are not original to the design of the helmet. So that was added at some point. Um, if any of you guys out there know anything about that, I'm assuming probably post-war or maybe some sort of uh, reused in World War II, who knows? Um, but that is definitely not an original um, set of rivets there. Um, that looks like it was added as well as these chin strap bales here to hold some sort of uh, not standard or not original liner in this helmet. So the original helmet, or excuse me, chin strap bands would be held within, excuse me, not the bands, the bales will be held in these riveted areas, uh, in this area on either side of the helmet. Right here. So whoever put this in, this is all after the fact. So again, if you guys know anything about that, if you've seen that before, uh, let me know in the comments. I think what I'm gonna do for this restoration is take out these non-original bales uh, and take out the rivets and I will bondo up those holes where those uh, rivets were added. Uh, like I said, I have a reproduction liner coming. Um, I can't remember the name of the company off the top of my head, but they uh, it's a legit leather shop in the U.S. who does really high quality reproductions. Uh, once I get that in, I'll, I'll show you. Um, so that's, that's the plan. Take it down to bare metal, knock out this uh, the stuff that was added after the fact, paint it or match the paint, paint it, um, put the new emblem on. So I ended up buying, actually I, I sourced an original World War I uh, artillery badge. The, the one I ordered online that was a repro uh, from China is just, it looks like garbage. So I decided not to use that. It was only nine bucks. so it. It wasn't a big loss, but if any of you guys are looking to restore a helmet, don't buy those uh, knockoff ones on eBay. I learned my lesson on that. Try to get an original one if you can. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, like I said, if you know anything about the, uh, the liner, let me know. What do you think about the color? Um, if you have any more info um, that I talked about in this video, let me know in the comments. If you like this sort of thing, give it a like, subscribe. Uh, check out my Trent Shield video um, in the interim. Probably be a little while before I post an update on this video because uh, I'm still waiting on some things. So until next time, I hope you have a good one. This is Navy98 saying, Go Navy!